السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈینٹس آئی ہوپ یو بیسٹ ان یو ہیلپ ایز یو نو دیٹ ریسنٹلی وی لانچ اے یوٹیوب چینل بائی دا نیم ایجوکی سائنس اکیڈمی ٹوڈے آر ٹاپک از اباؤٹ انٹروڈکشن ٹو فنڈامنٹل کانسیپٹ آف کیمسٹری بفور اسٹارٹنگ آر لیکچر آئی وانٹ ٹو ریکویسٹ یو پلیز سبسکرائب آر چینل اینڈ پلیز پریس بیل آئیکن ٹو کیپ ان ٹچ ود اس یو نو کیمسٹری از برانچ آف سائنس سائنس comes from a Greek word scientia, which means knowledge. Science is way of knowing a human endeavor. Science is systematic knowledge, a systematic study of natural phenomena, which based on observation, hypothesis, literature review, objectives, problems, significance, methodology, experiments, determinations, analysis, and conclusions. Hypothesis is a tentative solution of a problem. It's an intelligent guess, an educated guess. It's a prediction which can be true or false. Science, you know, is huge knowledge. No one can cover it alone. So it is divided into two main branches. One is physical sciences and another is biological sciences. And physical sciences is also divided into further branches like chemistry, physics, geology, astrology. And I'm going to talk about the chemistry. Chemistry also is a huge knowledge of about matter. So it is also divided into further branches like organic chemistry, inorganic chemistry, physical chemistry, analytical chemistry, and biochemistry. Chemistry, you know that, is the study of matter and investigations about its composition, its reaction, properties, and uses. So it's based on matter. And you know that matter is each and everything in the universe which has mass and volume. Mass is a quantity of matter which can be measured in gram, kilogram, ohms, etc. And volume can be measured in cubic centimeter, cubic decimeter, milliliter, liter, and so on. And the volume is the measurement of product of three dimensions and length, width, and height. And you know that matter is each and everything which can be sensed by our five senses to touch, to see, to taste, to hear. And these are the five senses and we can sense all the things in the universe. And now we have a very sensitive instruments, they can identify the, the things they cannot be seen by our eyes. For example, the microscopic study of atoms. Matter has historical background. Before 2,500 years ago, one Greek philosopher, Democritus, was born in 460 BC. First time he proposed an atomic theory. And I want to tell you his story. One day, he walked on a beach and saw some very little particles of sand. And he thought that time, if it is quite possible to extend the matter into infinite particles, they practically cannot be divided into further particles. He caught the theory 
and he stated that matter is composed of very very tiny particles they are indivisible they are called atoms you know that atom comes from a greek word a latin word atomos in which a means absence and tomos means divisible and total means indivisible and now we know about the atom and according to democritus theory matter is composed of atoms and between them some space they call void and they are always in motion democritus was known as laughing philosopher because he believed in cheerfulness at the turn of 19th century the modern atomic theory is said to begin with john dalton he was an english meteorologist published a book on atmosphere and the behavior of gases which was entitled a new system of chemical philosophy he proposed an atomic theory which was based on democritus theory because he believed democritus theory was correct and he believed matter is composed of atoms he stated that matter is composed of indivisible particles they are called atoms john dalton atomic theory rested four basic ideas they are the chemical elements are composed of atoms the atoms of an elements are identical in weights the atoms of different elements have different weights atoms combine in small whole ratio such as 1 1 1 2 2 1 2 3 to form new compounds you know that dalton's work was mainly about chemistry of atoms how they combine to form compound molecules rather than physical internal structure of atoms although he never denied the possibility of atoms and sub particles of atoms the modern atomic theory about physical structure did not begin until 1987 in early 20th century jj thomson discovered electron by discharge tube experiment Goldstein discovered proton Chadwick discovered neutron by artificial radioactivity Rutherford discovered nucleus and basic atomic structure Millikan discovered charge of electron In this century there are so many theories models that describe the physical structure of atoms and we can say that this century is discovery of millennium even though today we know about the matter we know about the atoms atoms are well established and complex organization of matter and energy and we have a lot of theories a lot of models they describe the atoms the physical structure the chemical behavior of atoms and so many things today our lecture is about introduction to fundamental concept of chemistry these terms are very basic important and essential to learn the chemistry i want to introduce the terms 
फर्स्ट इज एटॉमिक नंबर एटॉमिक वेट वैलेंसी वैलेंसी नंबर मॉलिक्यूल मॉलिक्यूलर वेट एलिमेंट कंपाउंड मिक्सचर मॉलिक्यूलर फॉर्मूला एम्पीरिकल फॉर्मूला रेडिकल मोल एवोगेडोज नंबर केमिकल चेन फिजिकल चेन केमिकल रिएक्शंस बैलेंसिंग इक्वेशंस एट्सेट्रा एंड इंशाल्लाह आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट दीज टर्म्स इन माय नेक्स्ट लेक्चर इफ यू हैव सम क्वेश्चंस अबाउट दिस लेक्चर अबाउट द साइंस अबाउट द केमिस्ट्री you can ask me without any hesitation and please you can do the comments in the section below thank you very much for attending my lecture allah hafiz take care thank you